right, Amazon just delivered this, and uh, I'm gonna go see if it works. Cause I've got a, uh, a Ram truck here that the uh, the dealer only gave me one key, and I hate that. And I know they always want to keep a key because they want to try to get you to pay them three hundred dollars for a key, but. This is only 113, I think, so I'm going to try this first. So here's the unboxing. Let's just back away from this a little bit. There we go. Watch that. Got tape on the side. All right, that was super strong tape holding that top down. So what do we got? Dongle with a safety tamper proof cover on it and this little switch thingy and looks like down in here we've got just a rubber contact thing. Oh I guess if you wore something out you can replace it. But really only one dongle in there. This piece is nothing but the rubber pad with the buttons. So, now here's the guy. Recommend, highly recommend that you go watch the video two or three times because you don't want to screw this up. All right. And there's also this book. So, let me put my glasses on and start reading. This is a 2013 ram so i need to get the setup code for the uh, that guy that dongle and ram 2013 through 2014 is the setup code or the activation code of 314 and an alternate code of 312. I wonder what the hell that's all about. Uh, I'm going to go read this book before I go any further. Okay, I just went inside and watched this video again. Uh, it's supposed to be for my vehicle, 2013 Ram, position 4. He says take the security tape off. And uh, plug it in. But later in the same video, he has it unplugged and says start your engine. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug it in one time. Uh -huh. Where's my OBD? Yes. Okay. Plug it in one time. I got two beeps. Uh, in the video, it doesn't mention anything about that. All right, three beats means one, two, three again. So I guess, uh, well, I don't know what that means. He doesn't mention this in the video. Now it's going friggin' crazy. Okay. Okay, the next thing he says is close all the doors, turn the hazard lights on, and start the car with the original key. Okay, so where the hell's the original key? There it is. All right, hazard lights on. Start the car. And while the car is running, insert this in the OBD. Okay, hazard lights are on. The car is started. You find the OBD. Uh -huh. There we go. Two beeps. I guess that's pairing. 
the key activated and I got the key the car started and the flashers are running and plug this guy in I'm waiting for it to beep like three times or something there we go now it says stop the car take the original key out put the new key in and press this button on top I just got one beep there we go hey that almost sounds like success so let's uh, pull this guy out Press it again, like he said. Hey, I think this is going to work now. Let's do this. Car start. Oh my God, it actually worked. All right, so let's uh, turn that off. Lock the car. Unlock the car. Hey, we're in business. Okay. Now, I have another key fob that I have purchased from Chinese. This one here. Looks identical to this one, except for it doesn't have blue light in the middle. So, uh, we're going to try to program that too. So, I'm going to start over with the original key. Oh, maybe I don't have to do that. Well, I'll, I'll do it with the original key. Put that in. Unplug this device. Since I cannot program as many keys as I want as long as it's on this truck so with the dongle unplugged start the car plug in the easy key and it is way under there there we go I heard it beep twice it's supposed to beep again here okay Get the confirmation. Do do do. Now take the original key out and put the Chinese key in. Don't turn it on. Press the button. Okay. chime I didn't get a chime hey there we go that's the second key take that out press it again do, 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 do. now let's see if this key is going to start this is the Chinese key lo and behold I've got three working keys now See if it does the unlock thing for me. Lock. Unlock. Panic. Now, yeah, I have three working keys. And I can put the original in my desk and uh, give my wife the other one. This worked out great. It uh, It's not real intuitive. You've got to watch the video a couple of times because uh, I almost messed up a couple of times because... In the instructions, it says, put the key in, start the car. But later it says, don't start the car. Well, those are two different steps. So actually follow it verbatim, like he says in the instructions, and it will work. And I, that's what I did, and it worked. So thank you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.